Adam in Westminster. Hello, Adam. Oh, good evening. Uh, evening. Um, um, Clive, my blood is boiling again. Oh, um, no. Right. So, uh, where are we on this supposedly observing Guardian leftist poll who decided uh, to take it upon themselves to inform uh, the UK that uh, people who wanted to leave now all of a sudden have woken up, um, smell and smelt the coffee and decided that we actually want to stay? What's the basis for that? Uh, on an opinion poll? Uh, no, it's, it's an, an analysis. <laughs> oh, listen. I can give you an analysis this evening. It might rain or it might not. Well, that's not really much of an analysis, is it? That's uh, that's hedging your bets. Uh, I mean, intransigent and belligerent is going right. on with the. But, but why, why are you worried about this? It. I mean, it's somebody's looked at some figures and they're saying there's been a bit of a shift in opinion. Um, that's a matter of subjective. That's their opinion. Well, no, no, no. Your, I mean, your thing about it might rain tomorrow. That that, that might be subjective. The, these are people whose whose well, job it opinion. is. To, it's to, you, no, it's not. It's no. It's studying. It's 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 actually studying Daddy figures. Data which is not even deemed to be accurate. There's so much margin of error. Adam, I'm it. I'm it's getting worth worried it. about your your blood pressure now. Listen. The EU are just, they're, they're full of intransigence and belligerence. Well, they couldn't yeah, negotiate crossing the does, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter about whether this, this research says one thing or another. We can take it with a pinch of salt. We can believe it, not believe it. People are entitled to their opinions. It, it, it's not worth you getting all wound up about. Well, it really is because, uh, you know, oh. they're wanting everybody to get, as you rightly say, exasperated and to hell with everything. I'm it's feeling stressed now just listening to you. Well, I do apologise. I can retract <laughs> some of my statement if I need to feel better. But the main focus of my topic is, Clive, as yes. you well know, we've had this debate before. Well, yeah. People in this country have democratically voted to leave. Which part of leaving does the EU not understand? Oh, you're getting overexcited again. Uh, oh, for heaven's sake. I think pe people, uh, if you're talk asking, does the EU understand? Of course they do. Well, you would think so. They don't want it Apparently to happen. Not. They don't want it to happen. They're trying to uh, negotiate a, uh, uh, a deal of some kind or another, but they certainly understand what it means. Yeah, they're trying to reinstigate referendum World War II, which basically means they're not happy until they get the vote they like, isn't it, Clive? Uh, well, y you might think that, uh, Adam. Uh, people do, believe me, sir. All right, OK, we'll try not to let it get to you. Uh, Nicola in... I know he, f he felt very strongly, but sometimes I think, gosh, what is going on? Uh, I mean, we really are a divided country at the moment, aren't we? And, you know... If I have a look at this poll at the moment, 43 to 44, hard Brexit versus Remain. 3% uh, going for this soft Brexit compromise or whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's just further proof that people are really polarised on this one.